Hi, uh, welcome to the session on uh, uh, SCFI financial reporting. Uh, in today's session, we'll be discussing about budgeting. The topic is on uh, budgeting, a very important topic. We'll be starting with uh, the basics of budgeting. First of all, what is a budget? Budget is a planning function. Budget, a budget is a planning function. A planning function is nothing but what to do, when to achieve, what is our target, how to get that, etc. So um, here it is to be expressed in quantitative terms. A budget is to be expressed in quantitative terms. Like uh, we want to earn a profit of two million dollars. It's a quantitative expression. We want to sell hundred thousand units. It's a quantitative expression. We want to produce hundred and ten thousand units. Quantitative expression. We have to buy two hundred and fifty thousand kgs of material. It's a quantitative expression. We need fifty thousand labor hours. It's a quantitative expression. It can be hours. It can be kgs. It can be units. It can be dollars. So the quantitative expression called as you know a budget. Yeah. So now we understand that budget is a quantitative expression of management plan. Okay, and it is used in both planning as well as controlling. Once we know that that what uh, we planned that we planned for sale of say for example 200,000 units so this is per month say for example and uh, uh, we see that at least 50,000 units per week should be the sale so we have a controlling function whether after two weeks when you see the progress we sold 50,000 per week we sold 100,000 or not this is a budget we sold 105,000 excellent excellent so the actuals are compared with the budgets to see that whether any difference exists between budget and actuals which we call as variance so variance of 5000 units here of course but it is favorable why because we budgeted a sale of 100000 units for two weeks time we sold actually 105000 the difference is 5000 which is in our favor because we sold more than what we wanted likewise say for example we have an expense budget for two weeks say for example to twenty five thousand dollars we spent twenty seven thousand five hundred dollars there is a variance so in the case of expenses the actual should be less than the budgeted and we spent two thousand five hundred more than the budgeted it is an adverse variable adverse means unfavorable it will reduce our profit by two thousand five hundred dollars you don't need to write minus when you write adverse. So budgets are, uh, you know, maintained for controlling function, controlling purpose. Now, a budgets, uh, uh, benefits of budgets or usage of budgets. Our budgets are used in a planning. Um, having a good planning, we can uh, establish a good coordination among the departments. What is the coordination? Coordination is the alignment between the departments within the organization. Like, say for example, these are the organizations in our company. So sales department, uh, we have a budget of 20,000 units. So obviously production department has to produce 20,000 units and purchase department has to buy the material for equivalent 20,000 units of material. HR department should uh, provide the human resources to produce 20,000. Factory should create the pro, you know, the environment for the production. Administration department should administer all these activities. So there is a good coordination among all these departments towards the common objective of the organization, which is a planning function. So we have an plan to sell 20,000 units so thereby coordination will take place 
because we have a target here to sell 20,000 units, there is a coordination formed between these departments and we can have a good control over all this. Also authorizing and delegating. Say for example, the moment the production department produces 20,000 units, it would be transferred to the stores. So stores authority to, 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 to you know, they store these goods and make them available for sales department whenever they need. So we can, we can delegate the authority and make sure that they perform it uh, in an efficient manner. So the delegation and authorization takes, you know, the, in a healthy manner, takes place in a healthy manner. And we can also see the performance. Say for example, we have a budget of 20,000 units. Sales department sold 20,500 units. Good. And we have a factory supervision department for producing 20,500 units, say for example, $50,000. They are able to produce $50,000 with the factory overheads of only 49,200. Okay, we can see the performance of the departments when we have budgets. When you do not have a budget at all, whether they spend 49,200 or 48,000, you don't care about whether they saved money or you know spent more than that. Not only that, there is a good communication between the departments. So the coordination creates the communication among all the departments and it it acts as a motivating function motivating function in a sense the moment sales department sells to 20000 units the rest over and above what they sell will you know be a benefit to the company so obviously they will get some bonus or you know performance bonus or extra commission and all so it motivates the departments to achieve the targets if there is no target at all of course we don't look at that point now we understand what is budget we understand what are the advantages of budget. Now, the, the budgets, how the budgets are developed. We need to prepare budgets in a, uh, in a, you know, um, in a format. The format is this. So the first budget which is to be prepared is the sales budget. A sales budget is developed based on the annual profit plan. Say for example, my company should get a profit of $200,000 profit. So what is profit here? Profit is the difference between revenues and expenses. Revenues minus expenses, the result should be $200,000. So to get $200,000 of profit, what must be my revenue? Say for example, it is 1 million. Because on the sales, say for example, we get 20% of the amount as profit. So when the revenues are 1 million, the expenses have to be only 800,000 to get 20. So my revenues here are going to be uh, 1 million. The sales budget can be prepared in units as well as value. Let us uh, understand the budgeting in a you know, manufacturing company point of view so that you will get all the budgets. So sales budget we prepared in units and in even dollar amounts. Now let us prepare the next budget. To have the sales budget, to have the sales budget, we need to have a production budget as well. So how many units are to be produced? Say for example, to, to, to this uh, say to 1 million sales divided by say for example, $100 per unit. So it will be 10,000 units. 10,000 units are to be produced. So sales budget units, okay, plus, plus any ending inventory that should be there. Sometimes we may have to maintain some buffer also. Okay, uh, some buffer also that should be maintained. So say for example, 10,000 units, as per the sales budget, but the company says that we must have at least 500 units in our closing stock. So how many units are to be produced? 10,500. And we checked our the warehouse, we have already 300 units in the opening stock. So 10,200 units are to be produced. So the production budget is based on the sales budget, okay? 
production sales budget is based on the a annual profit plan production budget is based on the sales budget and the sales budget is based on the annual profit plan okay now what do you understand here the production budget the production budget is to be prepared for 10200 units now it is prepared in units okay production budget is prepared in units we wanted to produce 2000 10200 units say for example now we are preparing direct material budget to produce these units say for example these units require a raw material at least say 2 kgs per unit 2 kgs per unit so therefore here 10200 as per the production budget times each unit requires 2 kg raw material so 20400 kgs should be purchased this is in quantity this is in quantity okay now say for example the company says at least we need to have 1000 kgs in the ending inventories for safe side safety stock not to have any shortages and all so we need to purchase 21400 kgs clear we have already say for example 600 kgs in the stock now 20,800 kgs should be purchased 20,800 kgs and say for example each kg will cost us 1.5 dollars now it will be now it will be expressed in dollar amounts the 20,800 times 1.5 will give you 30,000 31,200 so our purchase budget is going to be 20,800 kgs or 31,200 dollars. Now we understand what is a sales budget, what is a you know, production budget, what is a raw material purchase budget. Now direct labor budget. See always the first budget, very first budget is sales budget. Because we have sales budget, we will have production budget. It tells us that how many units are to be produced. Now the next point is you need to have direct material purchase budget. How many material or how much is a material required? Direct material budget. We have material, but we need to have labor as well. No, so direct labor budget. Direct labor budget. Okay, and also we need to have a factory premises and all electricity, water, insurance, rent, and all. That is factory overhead budget. Factory overhead or manufacturing overhead budget. So production budget is prepared in quantity here. But once you add all these three budgets, it will give you production budget in dollar amounts. Okay. So this budget is completed. Now let us work on direct labor budget. Direct labor budget is useful for the production budget production manager as well as human resource manager because how much of the resources human resources that are to be allocated to produce these many units remember 10,000 units was the production budget now say for example while establishing the direct labor budget we know that each unit requires two labor hours two labor hours so in that case 10,200 times two so we need to have 20,400 labor hours. Say, for example, we are paying uh, the labor rate at the rate of 50 cents per hour. Okay, 0.5 dollar per hour. So, this is to be multiplied with 0.5 dollar. So, we need to have 10,200 dollars in cash to produce 10,200 units to provide 20,400 labor hours to the production department. So HR manager budget is $10,200. Production manager budget is 20,400 hours. Using 20,400 labor hours, production manager should produce 10,200. You should not use more than these hours. Otherwise you'll have to pay overtime wages. 
And direct labor department here, human resource will ask that why don't you use the laborers very well? Because my budget is crossing here. See, I told you know the coordination. The coordination towards the common goal of the organization takes place in the proper budgeting format. Now we prepared sales budget, we prepared production budget, direct material budget, direct labor budget, and say for example, manufacturing overhead budget or factory overhead budget. Okay, say for example, a factory overhead budget in which we have fixed overheads like rent of the factory, insurance, depreciation and all, you have variable as well. See these variable overheads, will change according to the number of laborers work. The electricity will go up if more hours the laborers work in the factory. That happens when more units are produced, isn't it? So mostly the factory over its budget is prepared based on direct labor. Say if direct labor is some amount, 40% of which is going to be manufacturing over its budget. In our previous calculation, we calculated a direct labor budget. Oh, sorry. Direct labor budget. Direct labor budget of $10,200. So, on the, with the past experience and our forecast, we can say that 40% of labor budget is going to be assigned to the factory supervisor. So, it is going to be uh, 10000 4,000, 10,200 times 40%. So $4,080 will be given to the factory supervisor to run the factory to produce 10,200 units um, based on the direct labor budget that is $10,200 times 40%. So now if you see the, the direct material budget, direct labor budget, and the manufacturing overhead budget. This dollar amounts of these three budgets will give you cost of production. Cost of production. The total cost of material, labor, and manufacturing overhead to produce 10,200 units as per the sales budget, production budget. You get cost of production budget. You have admin selling and distribution over it also no factory will sell, will be able to sell the goods without the uh, admin selling and distribution over it there are departments who operate the business selling the goods and distributing the goods to public or uh, customers so these three overheads together in most of the companies are called as non manufacturing overhead budget or non production overhead budget these are manufacturing overhead budget related to factory expenses. These are non-manufacturing overheads related to admin, selling and distribution departments. So that your admin manager, sales manager and distribution manager will be given some budget to spend to achieve our target, which may be a 20% of the cost of production, which is the total of direct material budget, direct labor budget, manufacturing overhead budget. So mostly in most of the companies, the non-manufacturing overhead budget is established based on the cost of production, which is prepared based on the three budgets, DMB plus DLB plus manufacturing overhead budget. Now we prepared the budgets from sales budget to a non-manufacturing overhead budget. Based on that, we'll prepare budgeted income statement by having sales from sales budget plus cost of goods sold from three budgets. What are they? It's nothing but production budget. You can say direct material budget, direct labor budget, and manufacturing overhead budget. These three budget amounts should be deducted from sales to get gross profit. Then less 
non manufacturing overhead budget which include admin selling and distribution you get operating income remember this operating income is the forecasted not the real one this is what we are expecting in my example i said this is 200000 so if everything goes fine as we intended this should be 200000 in actual these are all budgeted items okay so it is called budgeted income statement based on prepared based on the forecast the budgets so when you complete this figure this uh, this period you will compare with the actuals what is the budgeted sale what is the actual sale is there any variance what are the expenses we budgeted what are the expenses we incurred on material labor manufacturing overheads non manufacturing overheads thereby what was the profit we expected what is the profit we earned so this way it is very important budgeting is very important to compare the the performance of various department to know the performance of various departments and not only that we do not check this just at the end of the year say for example next year next year year two this is prepared in year one for year two when we reach year year one we don't just uh, spend all the year and then compare no every quarter we'll see we'll segregate this into say for example four quarters so quarterly we compare if any corrections are there we are not on track we can take corrective steps to be on line 